Hello there. Welcome back to my tutorial. First of all, this tutorial is made in Swift 4 on Xcode 9. But if you are still using Swift 3, then this code should work fine for you. Today we will create a slider app using object-oriented programming. So this is our app. Uh, I have three sliders, which is one is red, one is green, one is blue. And here I have a label and here I have a simple view. So we can control RGB of that view. So basically you can see if I like do all blue, it's only blue. This is black, this is white. So uh, that's how we will be doing it. So here I have already created the project and I will be fast forwarding this design part. So just stick around. So okay guys, uh, I'm done with the designing part. So let's get started. First of all, uh, I need to connect this outlets to my view controller. So first of all, I will connect this label. So it's display label. And I need this view as well. So view will be just say display view and uh, let's get the sliders as well so one is red slider another one will be green slider and the third one will be blue slider okay now uh, we will uh, for our application our object is color basically what we need data about is color and so let's create a color class so it will be a new file and it will be a swift file and just name it color c o l o r and hit enter so we are done with the storyboard part so let's hop over to view controller and standard editor so under uh, under color file we don't need foundation we need ui kit so let's get started class color and there will be three variables uh, and they will be private private variable red and it will be of type cg float another one will be private variable green and it will be of type cg float as well and third one will be private variable blue so it's rgb and cg float again so now we need to initialize this variable so let's say initialize red and we will be getting uh, data from slider in float so we will be uh, like taking uh, our parameters will be float and we will be uh, casting it to cg float when we assign it to our variables so green float blue float as well and hit tab so self dot red equal to cg float and open brackets close bracket red and do the same thing for green and blue self dot green is equal to cg float and it will be green now we need to do cd self dot blue equal to cg float and blue okay so we have initialized our variable and so if you recall uh, we will be changing single sliders so we need to be able to set our red green blue individually so we will need three methods so first will be function set red and we will be passing red and it will be of type float as well and we will be returning nothing so just say self dot red equal to cg float and just pass in the variable red do the same thing for green and blue function set green just passing green of type float again self dot green equal to green okay here I made a mistake it's 
supposed to be double colon double dots and her function set blue and let's say blue if you have never tried object oriented programming then you will be like thanking me for this tutorial because you will see our view controller is so small and uh, everything fits in so well so let's say cg float yeah i know see, i see the mistake as well so we need to change it to cg float cg float and we are done okay we are done with setting the variables now we need a function to get color so let's say function get color and we will be passing nothing but we will be returning a ui color so that's it so let color equal to ui color and we need the one with rgb and alpha so r will be let's say red divided by 255 uh, we are dividing it by 250 or uh, 255 because uh, in this constructor we need to pass in values between 0 to 1 okay so just do the math you will get you will know what i mean so blue by 255 as well and alpha will be 1.0 always you can create one more slider for alpha as well but i'm not going to do it here and i will just return this color return color okay and now uh, one more function we need is for generating a string so that we can display it so it will be func get string and we will be uh, returning a string yes for sure and okay my shift is not working so let string equal to we will be using string interpolation so it will be red and we will say okay string interpolation i forgot and we will round it up because the values will be in float and we need to pass in our red then slash n uh, if you remember while designing i uh, changed our label to three lines so this will be possible uh, showing up uh, showing three lines and green will be I forgot to give space here I like giving space after double dots and just pass in a green over here slash n and uh, let's say blue space just pass in a blue over here and that's it just return the string return string not this one our constant okay so just try to build it I think it should work if we did good okay we did good here so let's hop over to our view controller and we need one variable which will be color and we will just say color and exclamation mark this color is basically our class so let's assign our color our uh, let's con initialize it with our constructor and for this red will be red slider dot value green will be green slider dot value and for blue will be blue slider dot value and uh, let's change our display label and color so display label dot um, text equals to uh, symbol color dot get text get string and our view will be display display view dot background color equals to color dot get color okay so let's first uh, change our view to let's say white so that we know it's working so let's make it white and when it runs it should be something like faded gray or something this one is from my previous application just wait so this is our new application and it works okay uh, the it's displaying the label and uh, still sliders are not working but so okay and the main under view controller we forgot to assign the value changed function for our sliders so let's do that we will be needing only one function so this one is something wrong we need this one okay under view did load just drag one slider and put it over here it will be action and say slider change slider changed and it will be of type slider and just connect all the sliders so second one 
to the same function third one to the same function and one more thing so for sliders we need to give each one of them a tag so first one will be one second one will be two so that we can reference them third will be three and that's it so let's get coding okay I'm a little nervous right now this one is a bit long application but it's worth it uh, OOP is something I'm doing it for the first time but still it's worth it so okay here we have our slider so we need to check that uh, sender dot tag okay not something color dot tag equal equal to one then it's a red slider and we will just say we'll just say color dot set red and we will just pass in the sender dot value and we will change uh, display label text and background color as well just copy this functions and pa paste it over here for else oh it will be else if and sender dot tag equal equal to two and we will do color so this one is a green one so it will be set green and just pass in sender dot value and just paste the functions again and one last else if will be sender dot tag equal equal to three then this one is our blue slider so just say color dot set blue and just pass in the sender's value and just paste the two functions and let's run the application we are done with the coding part and hope it works <laughs> it should work okay I'm sliding the red one it's working red zero. Oh, we forgot to cast it to integer so let's do that so under our color class file uh, go down to get string just do this just cast this to int all the variables and for green we need to round as well so first let's round it and now we will cast it to integer and let's do the same thing for blue as well we forgot to round as well and we will say round and cast it to integer brackets so this auto like double brackets came with Xcode 9 which is really good and let's run it all over again and it should be displaying integers but our app was basically working so it's like one two three it's 255 because RGB goes till 255 so zero it should be black let's say only blue only green and only red and let's do all and this will be white so if you have any questions comment in the comment section if you like my video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos thank you happy coding